another fashionista slash entrepreneur who is doing very well for herself. I mean, she owns a spa, owns a fashion academy, owns a clothing line, she's a celebrity stylist, owns a restaurant, name it, she's done it all. But she is not stopping anytime soon. It's the CEO of Tiana Styling, the one and only Toyin Lawani. Hi, uh, my name is Toyin Lawani, the CEO and Creative Director of Tiana's Place, and I'm an entrepreneur, business mogul, CEO, Creative Director, designer, celebrity stylist. Like people know, I run Tiana's Place, and Tiana's Place has 13 other businesses underneath it, which we have uh, a spa, salon, unisex salon, barbing, nails, pedicures, and we have a boutique which we sell all kinds of designer stuff there and apart from that we, are, we have our own label which is called Elegante by Tiana Styling. I design all my pieces from them. Um, uh, we have Tiana Styling which is a styling outfit. I have a modeling agency, I have a traveling agency it's called Tiana Travels and Tours. Tiana Styling um, Fashion Academy which is launching in September. Uh, we have our choreography company, which is run by our choreographer still campaign. We have Amala.com. Uh, we have much more. I can't even keep up our time, but these are all the texting businesses we have on that Tiana space. My mom have always been into business, so right from when I was growing up, when I was in university, I was 16, then I, that was when I first started my salon at Unilag, salon and spa, and I had a supermarket as well, my hostel, and I was selling clothes, so I was selling recharge cards, indomie sardines. I've always been a very, very smart girl, but I got it from my mom because she had all this chain of different businesses as well, and I saw her. Uh, doing it while I was growing up so I loved it and I was the only person out of all our eight kids that could just grab this and I love beauty I love beauty I love fashion I love being industrious I love making money when she used to give us pocket money and stuff like that I would save my money and when we go to London I'll buy different stuff and just take it to the hostel sell stuff so I've always been into this and it's just a way of of doing different stuff that you have passion for and putting it on that one roof and letting them blend together and do uh, a proper business that you could make use of all this stuff together at the same time like videos that we style we need to do air makeup they need dancers we get the models for them we choreograph for them we basically do everything for them so instead of them spending my money outside i just get all the money at once the north to the south to the east and west Thank God for hard work and supportive clients. I've been able to get a huge building at Fallout Shibo, which we're launching and it gave birth to Tiana Styling Fashion Academy as well because we have a lot of students that I'm training now, that they've been training under me for a year for free. But end of the free games, I'm charging now for students to come on board, to come learn more. And thank God, oh, so far so good. We have over 200 applicants that really want to come into the school, but we're, we're choosing wisely. Um, with talent. I'm choosing talent. I don't want to uh, lose people or people. I, I'm giving people the chance to learn from scratch too. But you have to have passion for what you want to learn. So I'm, I can't choose more than 50 students anyway. Because when you choose too much, you can't teach them what they want to learn. Because we have to take them to things, I have to take them to the market, teach them fabric selection, patterns. I have to be involved, apart from the teachers that we are flying in from abroad to come teach them stuff, which they are already in Nigeria now. I have to be, I'm always involved. I design all my pieces by myself. I do all my work by myself. All my work, my styling, everything from the scratch. Elegante by Tiana Styling, which is originally me. I designed to satisfy the world, not my society. Because if you design to satisfy society, then you will be making what everybody wants you to make. So I don't expect every Nigerian to recognize my style, but I like the fact that 99% of them love it. And we have Under Elegance by Tiana Styling, 
we have men we have women and we have kids the kids one we just launched it a month ago actually and my daughter tiana she's the face of elegante and we really really have unique nice pieces kids could go for halloween uh in two of my pieces daytime looks nice uh, uh shoot stuff like that it's like give it's like for fashion forward kids giving your kids something different and new My favorite pieces I like to work with. I love camo, I love leather, I love polka dot, I love animal prints, I love sequins, yeah, the original sequins, the ones not from here. Yeah. I love, <laughs> I love silk, I love lycra. I'm much more, I love chiffon, but silk chiffon, not the ordinary chiffon. I made my outfits out of PVC. PVC is like plastic. I made few of my outfits out of PVC. I made huge hats, huge dresses, which some of the dresses made it to, uh, did you see, uh, made this video, Django, the Django team, many things. I did that. I made all made these outfits from sacks and leather. It was hard for me to actually go get the sacks from ma the market women. We soaked it for days to make it soft for machines to be able to even sew this. It was hard work sewing sacks and these are hard sacks and we mixed it with leather so at the end of the day it really looked nice a lot of people didn't even know that it was wearing sacks but because we were trying to go for the like the slave theme and one huge dress with a huge hat made it from MMR music runway because he actually uh, sang alongside with my models he opened my show for Music Me Run with December and he saw a few of my pieces. He was like, Tiana, I love your work. I love to work with you. We did it from there. I did the video for him and a lot of people liked it, you know, because it was different. My inspiration, it comes from traveling. I love traveling. I, I don't think, it was my busy schedule. I still travel outside of Lagos to work. I work with a few of the Playboy people. Uh, basketballer wives. Uh, recently, if you, if a dress of mine made it to Kelly Rowland's video. The video is uh, the video is with Kelly Rowland and Future. It's called Never Hand, and they use few of my dresses in the video. One stylist from there they said, "Oh, I style Kelly Rowland. She she loves this piece. Can we use it for our video? She would love to meet you." I'm like, "Wow, Kelly Rowland wants to use that. Okay, nice. Let's go, Ellie. Yeah. Then I met Natalie Non. She won the um, the show, the talent show. Uh, Bad Girls Club and she's signed with Playboy now. She loves my pieces, she rocks my pieces and she's always saying Tiana Stiley anywhere she goes. Ciara as well, the actor, who's your favorite Nigerian designer? She goes Tiana Stiley. So I'm happy like I've been able to break into this um, international market. <laughs> To be different, you need to be consistent. If you're not consistent, then what's the, what's the effort? You have to be consistent, you have to be different, you have to bring different games all the time. Because remember, fashion is a game that keeps changing. Fashion keeps changing. Fashion and style, they are two different things entirely. You can't mix it. And at the same time, I'm mixing it because I'm a designer and I'm a stylist at the same time. There are two different things that people have to know that they're separate. It's another thing to make an outfit. It's another thing to wear, right? The problems I encounter in Nigeria mostly is actually sourcing fabric. Everybody in Nigeria sources fabric from the same place. Yaba, Lagos market. And maybe from private vendors. Now, when you source fabric from the same market and all of you are designers, Imagine if you're not privileged to travel out like me and you buy. Before I started buying all my fabric from Los Angeles, London, everywhere I buy my fabric from my abroad now, China. I, I used to buy fabric from the market in Nigeria here. I, I'm not in denial. I used to buy it and at the end of the day, I see the same fabric with another designer and I'm not like, ah. Oh. Imagine if I'd make a whole collection of that fabric and another designer ends up using it. There's no originality. So that's one thing I would say we designers have a problem with in Nigeria. So this is an advice for designers. If you know you want to be different, if you have a way of sending your friends abroad to buy your materials or go and make your materials from China, go there directly. That's the only way you can be different. Because once your material is common, you are not a designer, you are just playing. 
you are just kidding about the bush. So that's the number one problem that we have in Nigeria, all designers. And another thing I know in the industry with designers is about people copying like themselves. They need to stop that to be different and to be original and to be respected. You know, just the creativity, the originality, just focus on that and that's it. They will excel. Most of my stuff, I make sure that I stay with the neatness. You can wear it as reversible. So it's either you wear it with the leather or you turn it, you can see it's made, already made like that. See? So you can wear it in out. It wasn't easy, but I have an excellent tailor. Mr. Tunde made this one. <laughs> he made this one. He makes nice jacket. Bob is very good with lycra. It took me a long time to be able to like test my tailors and know the right things to give them to me. He is very good with lycra. You should see like dresses that he makes. He's very very good with that. He made all he, he made this one. I don't mess if I give Mr. Tunde this to make, he's going to mess it up. But Mr. Tunde jacket makes like really nice. Please! Don't steal Mr. Today away. Come back. Come back into a Nigeria and steal Taylor. You want to steal my Taylor? He made this as well. And this like has like a small mini polka dot pink one inside there as well. And I love the neck. See the way it cut the neck. Yeah. And they'll just tie it. So before they, they see what's inside, they just see a jacket coming. And I use goggles. I love goggles. I use white goggles, white shoes. And they just take this off, boom, and mm. pose and show them what's in there. This is Toyin Lawani, ATM fashionista. I love Prime TV and stay fashionably blessed. All the strength of a woman. I'm proud to be one. And that's all the fun we can catch in today's show. More to come when we catch up again, and I promise it will be soon. But until then, this is Jennifer Jones saying be good and always stay fly. Mm.